I'm, I'm back. Good afternoon, guys. Tony back again, or in Todge. A nice welcome from Leatherface there. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Sorry about that. But yeah, so I'm back again to YouTube. I know I said I've had a couple of months off and I've sold a few items. As you can see, I haven't sold a lot, but you know, um, getting through it. And I'm just coming back because I miss YouTube, miss you, your guys' interaction, met some really great friends on YouTube. I love watching YouTube videos myself, so I'll keep doing what I can. It might not be as regular as I put in a post the other day, if you've seen it. Um, you know, I might just do them, you know, periodically or something, you know, one a month. For it. It, could, it could be more, you know, it all depends. But what I'm going to do is I'm still going to sell a bit of my collection. The films I'm never going to watch because I fell into the trap of the collecting trap, which I know we're all collectors, but I just saw something like Criterion or I just had to have everything and I never watched 70% of the movies so I think that was just a stupid thing to do it's good it's good if you like collecting and you have the room I had a great big house it won't matter so much but um I haven't and this room is filling up around me so like I say I'm gonna I'm not just gonna go for like a complete Arrow collection or anything like that I'm just gonna have the films I like um I'm gonna try and watch more films and bring more, you know, recommendations and stuff to you guys. I and mean, even if it's through streaming services, I've got Shudder and stuff, you know, Netflix, Amazon Prime, all that stuff. So if I see anything any good, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know. I know we're all about physical media, and I am, but it's just, it was just getting too much for me, really. And um, it's a lot of money just sit here, and I'm, I'm not even using it. So I will be filling it down still. As you know, if you've seen uh, Ben's video from Cadaver Club, he had a good parcel off me of Arrow stuff and, you know, all stuff like that. So uh, a couple of people have had some bits and bobs off me off Instagram, but I've still got a lot of stuff left, to be fair. Probably probably haven't even sold 5% of it, but, you know, it's, it's all, I haven't advertised it all anywhere. It's just, I'll get around to it. But I've still been, you know, what I've come back for, I've still been buying bits and bobs. My wife had already, before I'd finished YouTube, had already bought me some bits. Um, so I've still got those and I had some HMV like voucher type things what um, mother-in-law and my mum and stuff had got me so I went and spent those the other day so I'm coming back to show you what I've got for Christmas really guys um, and what I've been picking up over, since I've been away not a lot but a few, good few bits and some good titles but as I say with the channel yeah I'm going to be coming on here I might start doing Basically, you guys might not want to hear it, it's physical media, but if anyone's interested in my life, I started a Weight Watchers a few days ago, getting on okay because I'm really heavy at the minute and I just need to sort my life out in 2021, lifestyle change and stuff. I know we always say it, but this time I'm going to edit it, so I probably might do a little update on that if you want If you want to hear about every, I don't know, month, two months, few weeks, every week, I don't know, but we'll see about that. I'll probably put a poll out or something. Um, hopefully start to lose a bit of weight and not not nothing lengthy or in depth just telling you about my life really and yeah i'll probably do that um i'm probably going to get a ps5 at some point um when i can so i might go through games and stuff i might see how you get into streaming and stuff i don't know like horror games and stuff so that sort of stuff's on the cards and anything else you want really but yeah maybe more live streams and stuff to get involved with more of you guys because like i say i'm running out of room so and i don't want to spend the cash i spent last year to be fair it's a bit silly when i'm not watching not even half of them because i haven't got time it's not because i don't like them i'd love to sit down and watch them all but like i said to you i've got a obviously like like everyone else i've got a wife and daughter and um she goes out competing her horses. She's she's big into horse riding, my daughter, and ponies and stuff. So I'm out with her all the time. So I probably only get to watch two or three films a week, which isn't a lot. So I'm a big follower of football and, stu and sport as well. So I watch a lot of that as well. So it's it's hard to fit it all in, if you know what I mean. It's sort of So I think if I concentrate my collection down to the stuff I really want, and, you know, and then we'll see how we go from there. But, yeah. Just for a comeback, guys. Uh, um, 
yeah to just 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 to do that really and just to just to do this just to interact so yeah i hope I hope you're all well happy new year you know first of january in the uk it's still pretty bad with the dreaded covid and everywhere's shut down again and there's thousand people a day die and 55,000 cases in a day it's really bad but hoping to the end of this year we should be all be through it and we can start doing stuff like horror con and stuff like that again and going to the cinema and all the good stuff but you know that stuff's got to wait like the whole rest of the world but you know we'll get there hopefully so yeah like i said i've said it again happy new year um if if this is the first time watching the channel my name's tony this is my channel horror and todge and i just tried to get through horror or there's all sorts of films it's not just horror i like i like all sorts of films but yeah so a bit of a change to the channel guys but what i'm going to do is now i'm going to go across to the table so i can show my blu-rays off i could probably show them off here but i like to give you an in-depth look from the table and uh show them off from there so we can get a really close look at them so hopefully you all enjoy this video i'll catch you at the table guys so we're back at the trusty table guys and i'm going to go through what i've got for christmas and what i picked up from a hmv what i had money for christmas and vouchers and stuff so first thing my wife got me was nice screen factory edition of creep show george a romero and stephen king you've all seen this it's got um an anthology movie with about five films on here some good ones I like part two better, but I want to watch this again, so I think this is the best way to get it. And you get um, a booklet, um, I think it's like a two disc or something. But yeah, I really like the first one, the Father's Day one. Uh, it's just a, a great sort of film and a good anthology movie, so that's a nice hard. So my wife got me that one, guys. Got this one as well from the wife. Um, Tales from the Hood. Now, I've never actually seen this. I know it's an anthology movie, both of them are. And I think part one's better than part two. Nice release from BFI. Uh, got quite a few special features. I think we've only had, I don't even know if we've had a DVD in this country, but I know America from Screen Factory had a Tales in the Hood. Um, nice edition with a nice slip and that. But I don't think it had part two on it. I think it was only part one. So this is part one and part two. I'll have a look through, see if it's any good. And like I say, what I'm going to do is, if I, if I really dislike a film, I'll probably just sell it instead of keeping everything I've got. But this is a beautiful release. One of the releases of the year, it's got to be. It's The Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 1 and 2 from 101 Films. I haven't cracked it open yet. Nice booklet. Uh, two Amory cases. Part 1's brilliant. Um, I had it on DVD. First time on Blu-ray in this country, too. Um... I really like it as a slasher, good corny stuff. Part two is just like, half of it's part one basically, just showing you what happened in part one, then it sort of kicks into part two. Not as good, nowhere near as good. Nowhere near, you know, the production value and, don't know, just didn't feel as good to me. But loads of special features, new 4K scan, really nice box out of that. I've seen everyone pick that up, so that's Silent Night, Deadly Night. That one for Christmas. Um, I got this one too. Um, Van Damme, Universal Soldier, The Return. This is one of them that I might be selling, to be fair, guys. One of them that I'm not going to... If I, wa I, I do want to watch it, but see if I get, ever get round to it, you know, because I'm really into horror, as you know. But I do like Van Damme. I really like Van Damme, to be fair. So I might get around to watching it, but we'll see. But this is a nice addition. Limited to 3,000. I think it's a one-print run. Uh, like the Van Damme Ranger. I showed you the... Uh, a couple of art like street fighter and stuff um in one of my previous videos so that's the uh, universal soldier the return uh, the next one is an indicator box set a Rick, richard franklin film and it's road games nice film if you're great film if you haven't seen this one uh, stacy keats and jamie lee curtis a young jamie lee curtis very good movie powerhouse indicator do awesome stuff there's all the special features on there guys um, really nice addition with a booklet. I don't know if you get a poster, but you get the Amaray. One of those nice hard boxes. Great artwork. J card there. So I look forward to delving into that. Limited to 5,000. I've got 4473. So, hmm. I think this is the first time in UK again, Blu ray. 
think you can get it on Screen Factory in America, but you know. And then this one I've really been looking forward to. Arrow Video, David Cronenberg movie, Crash from the 90s. Um, got it on DVD, never had a Blu-ray in this country. I don't think he did anywhere. Then Germany started pushing out these 4K media books and then Arrow cottoned onto it and got a 4K transfer here. So you get a poster, a nice booklet. A really strange movie. It's not going to be for everyone. Really sort of sexual towards sort of cars and crashes. It's really hard to explain, but Cronenberg does it brilliantly. He explains stuff. It's really simple, really. The way he explains it, all of his films, I think, it's quite quite well, you know, put together. 100 minutes long. And, uh, yeah, this is 4K, so I can't wait to delve into this. I have actually got 4K TV on the way, a new 4K 65-inch so I might show that off in a video when it comes. It's not the greatest TV in the world. It's not like high, high spec or cost of fortune, but it's a new one for me. So really cool. That is a nice addition though of Crash Guys. I think Criterion have brought it out, but they only bought the Blu-ray out for some reason. They're not delving into the 4K market for some reason, but oh well. That's Crash 4K. This one is actually the first one I bought in a long time. Bought it off a, um, a guy off one of the Facebook pages I'm on. Cult Cinema Collectors. Um, yeah, Cult Cinema Collectors page on Facebook. They sell loads of stuff on there. Really cool guys. And this is Scary Tales from the um, AGFA range who Vinegar Syndrome put out. And uh, this just looks complete, utter garbage, but in a good way. Just look at the low budgetness of this, guys. I'm not going to open it up because I got this for a real good price, about fifteen pounds. Guy had watched it once, and he said it's, um, you know, just a absolute rubbish, but fun, if you know what I mean. So look at that. But yeah, these titles are really nice, really nice slip covers, as we know. So scary tales. If you've seen that one, tell me, guys, because I don't know what to expect, but I suppose I'll have a fun time with it. Um, this is the bag I got from HMV the other day. Before we all went into tier four. So I think it was Boxing Day or something. Had a bit of money. I'll just get it all out, guys, ready. Um, so my first pickup was the complete second season of Castle Rock. Uh, Stephen King and J.J. Abram. I have got the first one. I haven't watched it yet. I've got that on meant to be really good though and this is meant to be good so got this 14.99 thought that was a good deal uh nice slip case and stuff so i look forward to delving into that um another hour of video lake michigan monster this is meant to be absolutely bonkers if i don't like it i'll i'll sell it like i say because i can't keep everything nowadays as you know this is why i was giving it up but i'm back but yeah, don't know much about it. Just know it's um, a silly sort of monster movie. Load of special features on there. Nice slip cover. I think it's an indie movie. $17.99. I got this one before it goes out of print. Beautiful edition of Tremors 4K. Uh, early Kevin Bacon film, if you haven't seen this one. Great sort of creature feature. Haven't watched it for a long time, so I look forward when I get my new 4K TV. I'll delve straight into this and crash. And uh, loads of special features on here interview and a short films with a limited edition on disc two. So, a really nice set. Tremors, great artwork on that. Um, this one, which I'm really looking forward to, I have seen this a long time ago, really enjoyed it. It's Lahane BFI. Uh, film by, how do you say this? I always get this wrong. Matthew Kazoffis, is it? Kazoffs. Matthew Kazoffs. So it's like um, a French film. Um, and it takes place basically after this like police shooting. And, um, you know, it's just really um, sort of now at the time even though it's nine i think it's like the 90s 95 or something 94 but it sort of still sort of sticks in your head as today sort of you know political and racial and sort of you know really inner city sort of stuff 
that I watched this on E4 years ago, but I can't wait to delve into it again. Really nice addition, booklet, hard case, um, nice hammer right there. There's all the special features if you want that, guys. Really got um, praised this movie as well. Got a lot of awards and stuff, so look forward to revisiting it. Lahane. I got um, this new HMV first edition. Peninsula. Now I haven't watched it yet. As you know, Train to Busan is one of my favourite zombie movies of all time. I've heard mixed things about this. Some people really like it, but it's apparently it's not a patch on the first. It's a bit um, Hollywoodized, I think. Apparently, but I'll still watch it. I think it's more like an action sort of film. I know Train to Busan is, but this is even more, you know, special effects and stuff. But really looking forward to seeing this. It's a lovely addition. Nice booklet or art cards, whatever you get in it. Nice case, Studio Canal. So I thought I'd pick that one up. Last one, guys. Uh, one from Shameless. And it's uh, a new one. Baby Yaga, The Devil Witch. First time on Blu-ray and first time cut in this country, I think. I don't really want to show you the backs. I don't want no nudity and boobs spattling everywhere. But... As you know with these movies. But if you want to read the back guys. There we go. Nice addition. I quite like these what Shameless are doing with this. Um, with these releases. Like they did with the Beyond. You know it's that sort of clear case. I like it. I love the clear case. And you know. Really look forward to giving this one a watch. So yeah guys. That's all my pickups. While I've been away for a few months. Um. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll be back at some point. Uh, let me know in the comments. Ch talk to me. Um, you know. Fire some questions at me if you need any. Um, but yeah. Glad I'm back. And uh, hope everyone's having a good start to the new year. So I'll catch you all in the next video guys. Thanks a lot for watching.